The Olin Award recognizes the important impact Olin Business School research can have on results. We're happy to announce the Olin Award goes to Dennis Zhang. His paper is Predicting Human Discretion to Adjust Algorithmic Prescription, a large-scale field experiment in warehouse operations. So the research is about uh, improving the warehouse efficiencies at Alibaba by changing the algorithms. When you place an order on, let's say, Amazon or Alibaba, what happens is the firm first decides which warehouse this order goes to. And then it sends the order to the warehouse. The warehouse needs to first pick items from the shelf, put them into a bin. And then this bin gets sent to a worker or multiple workers. Those workers will work together to pack them into boxes, delivery boxes, and those delivery boxes will be sorted and shipped to you. The specific process we target here is how we make sure the process of packing those boxes to be more efficient. So in the past, what happens is the Alibaba's algorithm solved a very complex optimization problem. And this problem basically says, give me N items. How large a box do I need? and what are the orientations of the items I should place them into the box so that I can fit as many items as possible to this particular box. In all of those cases, you can see it's not only the algorithm themselves are delivering the outcomes. It's a combination of the algorithm and the executors of the algorithm, which are the people who are delivering the final outcomes. So I call this particular characteristic as artificial intelligence and human collaboration and such specific characteristics will allow us to design better algorithms. That's the research question we're trying to explore here. Human workers will not follow the algorithm. They will just switch to a larger box because they can't really solve such a complex problem of putting those so many items into one box. And what we are doing is saying, okay, if human workers have to switch to a larger box, this will cost a lot of time. So why don't we recommend a larger box at the beginning to taking into account the complexity constraints of human mind? And that's our improvement on the algorithm. The good part of this research is we're not only cooking up this algorithm in our office, we're actually testing it in a controlled, randomized experiment. It means we're taking four warehouses, hundreds of workers, randomly select a subset of them to, to be served by our algorithms. The other half are being served by the traditional Alibaba bean packing algorithm. By doing this, we can compare side by side the impact of our algorithms on the real life logistics. And we show that we can, we can decrease the packing time of a box by roughly 3.6 seconds, which is roughly 5.6%. This can be translated into a 5.6% uh, savings in the labor cost. But we are also recommending a larger box, which means we are actually uh, recommending more box materials to the workers, which means our algorithms may cost more in terms of box materials. So if you're adding up all the costs as well as savings, this algorithm in total roughly saves $2.6 million for Alibaba per year. There are two levels of real-world applications of our research. The first one is specific on the warehouse side. So you can apply exactly the same modification to other warehouses to improve their logistics, no matter it's Amazon, it's Walmart, or it's other online retailers. But going beyond it, we want to make a bigger point through this paper, which is considering human behavior or human deviations from algorithm prescriptions and using such consideration to improve algorithms. So the point we are trying to make here is when you have a process which involves algorithms and human, you should use the human data, the deviation data, to improve the algorithm. Now is the time to really think about how the algorithms could work with humans, could work better with humans, not only how the algorithm could optimize certain things better. I'm very happy about winning the Aoling Award. This is a great honor and it's, I'm extremely excited to see that the practical impact of my work has been recognized by so many people who are high level in the industry.